To get comparable shock dyno data, your tests need to happen under the same conditions. Even with the repeatability of a Lava 7 shock dyno, there's still room for error. Even the smallest of changes, like the fastening of an adapter or temperature, might shift the results more than you'd think. Today, we'll walk you through how to test shocks consistently on a Lava 7 shock dyno. Let's dive in. Attaching the adapters properly is fundamental. Make sure the damper is aligned. Also, make sure it is firmly secured. If there is any play, the shock dyno will detect it and provide inconsistent results. Make sure you use the same stroke on every test. On Scotch yoke dynos, check the crank's travel range, which can go from 25 to 150 mm. Once the dyno is connected to the Lava 7 software and the shock is mounted, run calibration before each test. This step is crucial to ensure the readings are the same, taking into account the shock's pressurization and other details that the machine takes care of for you. Also, this step is automatic, you only need to click on a button. And finally, always test at the same temperature. You can do it in two ways. First, monitor the live temperature in the software. Or you can set the target temperature and the shock dyno will start reading results only when the specific temperature is reached. If the shock is too cold, warm it up. If it's too hot, let it cool down. Once at target temperature, you're set to test. With proper adapters, calibration, stroke and controlled temperature, your results will be spot on. It's all a matter of reducing the number of possible variables that might interfere with the results we want. It's that simple. See you next time.